RFID is the short form of radio frequency identification. Some people confuse it with RF. RF is simply radio frequency like our transmission which takes place in FM or AM or any other wireless system. RFID is a different concept and typically it comprises of two parts. One part is the RFID reader and the other part is RFID transponder we call it and the meaning it could be a tag, a keychain like this, a tag or a card or a bigger size electronic device. But interestingly this transponder or the passive, we call it passive tag, it doesn't have any power source. So we call it a passive tag. Whereas it's got a lot of electronics, it's got certain ICs, it's got certain uh, memory to store certain data. But all that has to work only when it is powered. And that power comes by a induction method from the reader. And that is what is the job of the RFID reader. And typically they look like this. This is the coil, the transmitting coil. Normally it operates at a certain kilohertz, about 125-135 kilohertz. And it's in higher frequency also. And while this tag is brought close to it or this card is brought close to it, since it contains the same coil inside and certain circuit, it draws the power from this. It draws the power from this. And once it gets the power, the, the circuit inside becomes active. And whatever data is there, the data is very small. It could be a few bytes. And those data which is there is transmitted to the radar and is received here. This is how the data transfer takes place from the card or the tag to the radar and it only passes on the information about the specific number of the card and based on that the card it could be interfaced to any kind of uh, system or a microcontroller or a WROM or any kind of memory device where this particular information which is being received by the RFID reader would be used to identify this particular device or this particular passive tag and then corresponding to that the information can be retrieved from the database which is there interfaced from here. It's a complicated issue but all that is this doesn't store the complete information. There are RFID which, inf info which includes a large number of information but those are fairly big and they are fairly costly also. But the simple ones which are like for example these ones, they are very very simple ones. They could be even less than a dollar and uh, in maybe in Indian rupees about say 50 rupees or so. These, car these uh, tags or the cards have that kind of data only to pass it on about its identification only, about its number only and that is what is transferred to the RFID reader. These are being used in many applications like uh, for uh, security uh, operation in the uh, certain establishments or identifying certain. Uh, so to sum up, the power is received through the mutual induction by the passive tag which is filtered, rectified and made DC so that the circuit operates here and this again transmits and the transmitted data reaches here and which is used for some other purpose. Thank you.